G'day folks, your old mate Dusty Bridges and welcome to our 2020 Outback Adventure. Now you know for the last three days we've been staying at Myrna Morna Station in the Flinders Range of South Australia and I've been lucky enough to snag Kay Fells, the property owner, along with her husband Donald. Now Donald's out still working at this hour as the sun's about to set. But Kay, welcome to Dusty Bridges Australia. Thank you, Dusty. Uh, now yep. it's, been, uh, it's been fantastic staying on the property. Can you tell us and the folk who are watching a little bit more about Myrna Morna Station? Sure. Myrna Moore has been in the Fells family since 1889, so we've got quite a lot of history. Um, my husband and I are fourth generation and my grandchildren are six. And wow. um, yeah, so a uh, long time um, on Myrna Moore. But um, we went into tourism in 1968, first of all. Um, firstly, off offering accommodation. And then um, in the last 20 years, we've opened up four-wheel drive tracks, bush camping and pad sites. So keeps us all pretty busy, along with running the um, stock side of the operation. And you were telling me a bit, bit earlier on that you run sheep and cattle? Yes, that's correct. Um, at the moment, because this is the fifth year of drought here, um, so we're running about a third of our normal um, carrying capacity and feeding most of the uh, sheep. The cattle are still fending. Um, we've had them away in adjustment and whatnot, but um, just trying to keep our breeding stock. But um, yes, we're at the moment running about 1,200 ewes and about 350 cattle, down from 800 cattle and about 5,000. So, wow, yeah, big, big drop. So, the drought's hitting a bit hard, very hard. Yeah. Yes, we're hoping you know every season that it's going to change, but yeah, it's yet to come. Well, I take my hat off you working out here on the land and uh, and, and running the station and the cattle uh, and the sheep like you do. And, you know, for four, it's, uh, with the kids, six generations of family staying on the land, that's just uh, take your hat off to that. Now, can you tell the folk a little bit about what they can expect or what's on offer here at Moona Moor if they decide to come out? Okay. Um, two of our tracks run out into the ranges. So we're on the western uh, side of the Wilpena Pound. So that's the pound you can see behind me. Uh, one of the tracks goes right in under the pound, under the cliffs of the uh, Wilpena Pound Range. And the other track into the ranges goes on the northern end of the Elder Range and goes across the valley floor and onto the front of the Bunbinyana Range. So both have a fair bit of elevation and quite significant four-wheel driving. We've also got an adventure track called the Wowee Track. And that's more panoramic views. Um, you can see for miles and miles right out to the lake. Um, and uh, more um, panoramic scenery than in close scenery like the other two tracks. In better years, we also run a track out to Lake Torrance. Unfortunately, the last four years, we haven't been able to run that track because of the conditions out there. Um, it's very, very sandy. And of course, in the fifth year of drought, you can imagine that every windstorm, there's the, the tracks just get covered up. So yeah. unfortunately, we're not offering that at present. Okay, and folks, I can tell you, um, the Lake Torrance track, obviously, as Kay said, is, is not available just at the moment, but Nasty and myself, we did the three tracks while we've been here, and they are great. I mean, if you want to see the Flinders Ranges up close and personal, these are the tracks that you need to do. The panoramic one is fantastic from the distance, but when you're in the right in the heart of the Flinders Ranges, there's nothing better. Yeah. And okay. we try to, um, we have fairly comprehensive track notes, and we try to explain things on the track, points of interest, the vegetation, all that sort of thing. So um, we hope that people get, you know, quite a lot of information from our notes. And um, I think mostly people, you know, we only have good reports. So. And, and uh, Nasty and I, we followed those notes that, and you've got everything well marked. So, you know, you can find things on the track um, and you keep it in good condition because I note that the grader had been through not that long ago yep. and, uh, but not, but even though the grade has been through, if you're a four-wheel drive enthusiast and a camper like myself, there is still plenty on the track there to keep you uh, uh, keep you sharp and, and get your experience going. So yeah, that's um, right, Dusty. And we don't we can't get a grader into most of it. It's actually done with a bulldozer. Wow. And yeah. a small one because they can't get the larger bulldozers in there. So yes, it is you know pretty inaccessible country, um, and we we're pleased we put it in. Oh, you know, twenty odd years ago, mainly to um, do maintenance on the wells and fences out there but um, we thought well this is an ideal opportunity to open up that track and share it with 
everyone. Well, I'm certainly glad you did, Kay, because uh, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, not everyone may be a camper or a, or a four-wheel driver, but Moonamore offers accommodation for those that maybe are not into that side of seeing the yeah. Flinders. We're fairly central. Um, we called the Central Flinders here um, from Hawker to Paratool and sort of the centre of the Flinders Ranges. And, um, you know, we cater for everyone. We get a lot of groups coming in. Um, we've got the facilities to bed about 50, 55 people. Wow. So a lot of, um, you know, birthday parties. We've actually got a wedding happening here this weekend. And, um, Not me, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you now we get the um, Harley Motorbike Club come up here and they stay on the tower mostly. Yes. But, um, you know, they find it an ideal um, central location. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so you're right in the heart of the central Flinders Ranges. So, okay, thank you very much for your time. No worries, I really Dusty. appreciate that. It's been great talking to you. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, like folks, the I, word out there. Oh, we yeah. certainly will. And uh, there, I've taken a number of snippets of videos. So, folks, just just keep watching the little snippets that I put up on this trip. It's fantastic. It's a little taster. And uh, if you're into camping, four wheel driving, or you just want to come out and see the Flinders Ranges, I thoroughly recommend you come and stay at Moonamora. All right, thank we'll you see very you on much. the track. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.